Hey, where are we headed? Well, I heard we're headed to the Green Mountain State. And for all you folks that don't know, that is Vermont. Yes, that large state up there in the Northeast that's called Vermont. Well, it's really small, but that's where we're headed to. And it is foliage season. We're leaving Florida now, and we're flying along. And we're headed up there. We're going to be doing a little bit of uh, being out in the woods. Now, one of the main reasons that I did fly up to Vermont was to see my grandson. But we also did take a day, and we got out in the woods. And this way here, you all could see some of the beautiful sights and see some of the beautiful things that Vermont has to offer. You will see a quite a few different videos on this trip and I hope you all do enjoy we're getting ready to land in New York right now look at that we're almost oh we are on the ground folks and there we go we have made it in record time just like flying away and here we go we're coming down around the mountains and it's almost to Vermont hope you all enjoy this video series and here we go Mosey and I have a trail today. Right to trailhead. Yep. This is where we're going to be going. Right down in here. Well, let me bring you up here and show you what we're looking at. Well, folks. Welcome to the Green Mountains of Vermont. And this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And no, I'm not in Florida anymore. Took a little vacation time. Came up here, been spending time with my grandson for the first time. It's been a beautiful week. But I wanted to take one day and get out in the woods and show you all where I came from. So many woods out here. So today I'm gonna to have a special guest. It's going to be my son. He wanted to come out and go with me. I'm on this trail. We're up in the Green Mountains. He knows where we are. Um, actually, this is where the trail ends. We have to cross this brook over here. And where we want to go is back off that way. So, we're going to be bringing you along. Hope you guys enjoy this. Something a little different on my channel that I have been dying to do to get out and get in the woods and help everybody out there understand a little bit about nature, survival, a little bit of everything. Just have a fun video. So I hope you all enjoy some of the scenery we're gonna see. And I'm gonna be posting pictures throughout the video of all the foliage and everything for everybody that doesn't live in an area where you get those kind of, well, colors in the fall. So stay tuned folks. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And you know what? We're about to get rocking and rolling. Here we go. Now, as y'all can see, this is what's called a white birch tree. And we're actually gonna peel a little of this off. Just need a little piece. And we're gonna take some of this, cause this is nature's fire starter right here, folks. This is something that's Sometimes very hard to find in the south and everything else. So, white birch is what it looks like. It's like paper thin, highly flammable. Get your five self a fire going, which we're going to do here shortly. Now, let's move right on over here. This is the brook. This is where we're going to be crossing right down in here. We've got to cross down in here because up here we have us ourselves a nice big old beaver dam right there. And crossing beaver dams can be quite tricky because you don't want to fall through. And the way they build up the dams and stuff, you want to make sure that you're doing it right. So we've chosen, we're going to cross right down in here because we have crossed here before. So we're gonna be going across here. 
and then we're going to be heading right out towards that direction right out that way so we're going to be get going here soon stay tuned all right here we go folks right across the river As y'all can tell, it's fully season up here. And what we're actually looking for is an old hunting blind. There's a whole hunting blind up here and a, a whole hunting area. And we're going to go up and check out this blind and everything because it's pretty old. And we might look at redoing it for somebody. You know, they'll be pretty happy. One thing is, is when you're walking through thick woods like this, you always want to watch out for things are going to poke you in the eyes because these things will get you and as you can see they're dead so you just pull them right off now just so everybody knows we'll clear a fight real quick you get to see him here in a minute uh the cameraman today is my son charles charles say hi how's it going so, so we're going to be heading on right out on here. I think it's just out this little way. It's been about 20 years since I've been in these woods over here. And as you all can see, there's no trails. So we're just making our own trails and everything else and watching out for things that are to get you. clearing over here we're gonna hit over this way. The one good thing is if you don't know where you're going and say you don't have any way to mark your trail if you bend the branches back kind of gives you an idea when you come back through and you see all these smash these new uh, breaks and stuff you know you came through here it's an easy way to find your way back and sometimes you just got to whip out your trusty saw Kind of clear your little path. Now today I'm using the SOG. It's a short blade. It's not a real long blade, but it's really good for hiking and stuff like that because it's not this huge blade that you're always using. Or if you're just going out for a day in the woods. Thank you. 
big pile of wood right there. Oh yeah. Uh, you hear that noise? I don't know what that was. It could be a deer or a bear. Let's go investigate. All right, if you want to kill that for a few minutes and. Okay, so, so far on this build, what we have done is we have got our, our roof structure. We've took and we've latched these all off together. Latched the front of here that is holding up everything in the front. 